I did it again. I feel like this camera looks very high up and I'm not entirely sure why. Hello. So, um, I did it again. I hate myself. Someone needs to take my card away from me because this is not okay. I need to be stopped from buying more leggings. Anyway, so today's video is going to be a review of the new Lazuli Label launch. If you don't know what Lazuli Label is, then it is a fairly new, to be fair. Um, they've had two launches before this one. Uh, activewear brand by Sarah. I know that. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, right, okay. It, my phone's not going to show it. Okay, so we'll just say. Um, it's owned by Sarah Grace on Instagram and. Taylor Kate on Instagram, but her name's actually Kate. They did a brand new launch. They launched t-shirts, they launched uh, cropped hoodies, and they launched four or five? Five, they launched five colors of the leggings. They got charcoal, a blue color, a purpley color, a burgundy color, and a khaki. So there's like a bit in there, a bit in there. So there's like something for everyone. I got the charcoal, I got the blue colour and I got the purpley, I think it's called Orchid or Orchid. I feel like my nose looks really red and I don't know why. Yeah, they're the three colours I got. I got them all in a size extra small and I will show you them now. So, basic features of the leggings and these are the same on all of them. So, I'll just show you on the Orchid colour. So, it's got a lovely, very um, tight compressive waistband. This is compressive. It does hold you in nicely. And then, oh. Oh, I've just noticed. I had concerns about this when I got the light blue pair that the logo might come off in the wash, but it never did. Um, I've not worn these yet properly and the logo's peeling away from the leggings, so. We'll carry on. So then the leggings are just really stretchy, like the actual leg themselves. They've got a lot of stretch to them. The labels look like this. Oh, so it's got like the brand name, the logo, black and gold. Um, and lengthwise, these come up to like the same kind of length as the Alpha Lee Revivals and Halos on me. So <laughs> like where my pajama pants come up to basically. And I'm five foot six and a half um, for reference. So in the first launch, oh, that, that's what I can do. In the first launch, they only had a size small available. <clears throat> that was the only size that they stocked. So I got a small, but obviously now I've got an extra small in these leggings. And I don't know if the small from this launch will be exactly the same. Um, cause I think they've like rejigged the sizing a bit, but for reference, that's the old behind in a size small. And this is the extra small. This waistband does fit me a lot better. I would say to be fair that I do think the old ones do feel, these are stretchy, but the old ones feel a little bit stretchier and a little bit softer on the skin. Um, so yeah, something to bear in mind if you did have these, it's not the same material. It's a very similar fit, but the material has definitely changed yeah um and another thing to mention with the sizing and stuff is the this color so the orchid color the blue and the charcoal these two fit the same and i think these two are these two just feel a little bit stretchier than the charcoal do i'm not entirely sure why but these just feel a little bit less stretchy. I still really like them. However, I may sell these because I did say when I bought all three that um, I basically panic bought three pairs because I did I couldn't decide between the blue and the purple. But I was like, I definitely want the charcoal, but I can't decide between the blue and the purple. Um, and I was expecting to like the purpley colour the least because I never wear purple, but I feel like I've just said purple a lot. <laughs> um, but the purple's actually 
it is purple but it's like a really unique purple i actually really like it i'm not a fan of purple i've said purple way too many times i need to stop i really like this color i'm not normally a fan of these kind of shades but this particular one i actually really like and my least favorite color has ended up being the charcoal there's nothing wrong with them um like i said they just do feel a little bit less stretchy and I just prefer these colours and I know that I don't want to keep all three pairs because honestly my bank account is crying and people are telling me that they want an Alpha Leaf Black like Friday haul so... <sighs> RIP to my bank account. Um, but yeah, out of all three colours, these are definitely my least favourite. I don't know what's happened to me. I used to love like grey neutral leggings but like this is just not a little bit of me the other thing i will say is one second so when i unpackaged this color and actually took it out of the bag and stuff i did think that it didn't look like a very true gray like when i compare it to my alpha leak gray ones i don't know if anyone else is going to agree with me on this or not but i feel like this has got like a slight it's very slight to like um an eye that's not staring at them they probably still look gray but just because i've got so many pairs of gray leggings um i feel like these have got a slight um like green tinge to them sort of thing so that's one thing i will bear in mind if you've got alpha leet stuff in the shade charcoal it is a different shade of charcoal because i feel like there will be crossovers between people who wear alpha leet and people who will be interested in lazuli label especially with because kate is one of alpha leet's athletes so with that being said, I'm going to compare the blue colour to some Alpha Leet shades so you can see the differences. Like I said, with the charcoal ones, I feel like there is going to be a crossover between Alpha Leet's customers and people who would be interested in buying these. So for a point comparison, but I have the Vivid Blue Halo leggings. I'm going to hold these here. These are the... <coughs> oh! These are the teal, like the newest teal revivals. I know they did a teal before, but this is the newest teal. So I'm going to hang those <laughs> over my shoulders. And then this is the Lazuli label colour. Because um, I was thinking like, why am I keeping the blue when I've already got two like blue leggings that I really like. But as you can see, this has much more of like an aqua bright like it's much brighter than these two are a little bit more muted this is a very very bright color and i don't know if it's showing up on camera but it has definitely got just like a bit more of green to it it is blue but there's definitely a bit of a green to it a bit of an aqua and it's just a really interesting color to be honest so if you're thinking i'm going to take these off my shoulders so if you're thinking that you've got um other blue leggings and stuff i would say you could still try these if you're interested in it because it is a very unique shade of blue but yeah so my favorite color has actually ended up being these ones and i'll run through like the main issues that people are concerned about with leggings so the concern with the last launch was that the leggings were squat proof mine originally were squat proof which i did say in my review but over time as I washed them and stuff, they did wear out like, I filmed the workout in the gym and I was like, oh, holy hell. But in their defense, they never claimed them to be squat proof. They said, these are really not squat proof. Like they did quite clearly say that. So, I mean, I can't really complain about that, but I do still love those leggings. Yeah, so all these colors are squat proof the one i would say i would have maybe some concerns about is this one i feel like it is it's like 95 percent squat proof but the teal and the charcoal are very very solidly um squat proof sweat proof i actually wore these ones i worked out twice today for the sake of this video like you're welcome i trained legs this morning and then my package came when i got back so I just did a little workout, I mean I say a little but it was very very quite quite sweaty, um, workout in my accommodation at uni's gym and can confirm I wore this colour and these were sweat proof for me personally. Um, I know that with squat proofness and sweat proofness there tends to be like individual differences because it just depends if you get the right size or depends how much you sweat stuff like that but these were sweat proof for me so if that's a concern 
I won't worry about it too much and I am someone who gets a lot of sweat around like my crotch and my bum but there was literally nothing there. Camel toe wise there's no camel toe issue with these whatsoever. Um, there is an issue with the gusset it does move around and come too far forwards but that was the same with the other pair of leggings and you can always just pull it back through and it doesn't look bad or anything. It's not like the Gymshark gussets where you can see it at the front and then if you try and pull it back you can see it really badly at the back. If you readjust it it's fine but obviously everyone's anatomy will be different so that will vary person to person on how that looks but yeah. Um, sizing wise so I did get an extra small in these. The waist fits a lot better than the small does on the old ones so I do think I got the right size for my waist. They do fit my legs and bum. I could have probably done with a little bit more room in them but they are really really stretchy and they feel supportive the waistband really sucks you in and all in all considering like the actual functionality of the leggings that i've just gone through as well i'd say if you're interested in buying these then probably do give them a try just because they're a lot more affordable than other brands these are 36 pounds each and i do think they're worth this the the bit i do think they're worth the 36 pounds so yeah if you're interested in why have i just put that around my neck if you're interested in trying these leggings out they are restocking in december i think kate said on a story so follow them follow the brand on instagram and you'll be like kept in the loop with like the updates and stuff but yeah follow me on instagram because i think i might sell my charcoal pair so if you are interested in purchasing them then message me and I will tell you if I'm still selling them or not. But yeah, that's it for this video. I feel like it was really quick, straight to the point sort of thing. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to edit this and it's going to be really, really, really long. I don't know. Like I'm properly in the back of, in the back of, oh my God. I feel like I'm properly back in the swing of filming and editing stuff. So I'm excited. Like I filmed yesterday and now I'm filming again. I'm like back in the swing of things. So yeah, anything anyone wants to see, let me know. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.